Hello again there Star Wars Collectors, this time around I have a review on the one and only Saga Legends number 31 Space Trooper action figure. And I did get this at Walmart for $6.88, it was on sale. And I'm um, really excited to open this figure. Um, there's a back view of it, other figures in the wave. Um, Galactic Battle Game. And yeah, really nice detailed picture at the top right there, if you can see that. Really cool. Um, it's a little blaster under his arm. Galactic Battle Game card right there. And there's the figure itself. It does come with the Clone Wars Adventures thing. And it includes a blaster. Um, I'll just read you the back. And you can get a good look at the figure. Oh, and by the way, this is from, I believe it's a comic or a book or something. But, um, it's a space trooper right there. But I'll just read this little information about him. Space troopers are high-ranking Imperial commandos who wear power suit armor designed for space combat. These zero-g assault troopers are considered walking tanks because of the extensive weaponry built into their suits. So, um, yeah, seems pretty cool. Seems like a really big, bulky figure. It's pretty heavy compared to the other figures, like, for example, this figure. They're about the same weight, and this one has the um, bigger case, too. Uh, so, actually, this one is a little bit heavier. Um, so, I thought that was pretty neat, and I'm going to get to opening this one right now. Have your scissors, and yeah. Just open it, just like so, and then, uh, without ruining the package. This is the first thing that I saw on the shelves that really interested me. So you can see I also got Jenga Fett in the background. Um, and, so yeah, just wait. And I've seen other reviews on this guy, and that's the main reason why I picked this up. He seems really, really cool. Oh. Trying to save the package as best as I can. Alright. Just like that. Alright. There we go. We can now open up this underside. Take it out. Um... There is his Galactic Battle Game card, which I'll show you right there. Just a picture of him in, like, looks like the Death Star, um, shooting his little wrist blaster. And his points, 1, 15, 10, 15, 6, and 13. If you can see that right there. And, yeah. So, Clone Wars Adventures thing. I have a whole lot of these. And I won't show it to you guys because my camera isn't really... The resolution to read out the pictures, the um, characters, and really, really cool jetpack. Can't wait to see it put on the figure itself. Here is the useless die. Throwing that over there. And um, here is the uh, stand, and underneath there is supposed to be secret weapons like there have been. But they didn't do that in any of the new Saga Legends figures. But they did keep the room for it. So as you can see, if the, um, this way, if this stand is right in there, if this stand is right there at the top, um, there's still a lot of room. And that's where the bag of the little weapons goes. If you can see, there's like a lot of room on the side. That's where the bag of weapons goes. But, um, I don't know why they decided to take that out. I really like that. But, yeah, um, let me cut this, uh, elastic band off the figure. There we go. Then the last one. There we go. And then now let's take out this huge figure. Whoa. His, um, shoulder pad just, like, flew off when I opened it. Um, wow. There we go. 
this is a really really cool figure really big figure too um i'll show you a size comparison it's like much more wider than like it's pretty wide compared to the normal average figure it's, to me kind of reminds me of a wampa i don't know why so yeah really cool it looks like it has really good articulation um and yeah really 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 cool figure it comes with this really weird blaster too it's not an e11 blaster um from what it looks like it looks like an odd conversion of one um if you can see that right there it's kind of weird and um the shoulder pads are removable like you saw before and the back of it I'll show you the jetpack right there there's actually painted in like buttons if you see that right there it's blue and red buttons and it just fits in via pegs if you could see that right just like that really cool jetpack and yeah um the wrist uh blasters as you can see right there underneath his wrist they don't close or anything like that which would be really cool but they don't and yeah only accessory that it comes with is the backpack and the one little blaster but wow i bet this figure will stand up really well because of his wide feet yeah he stands up pretty well because he has that wide feet here i'm gonna um lower this a little so you could see that right there um and so you could just use the stand for another figure like a vintage figure so you could find one but i'll just put them on the stand right there and i'll go over the articulation real quick he does have a ball jointed head ball hinged shoulders ball hinged elbows swivel wrists ball hinged torso swivel hips ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles so yeah really great articulation and the torso movement is really really like smooth and yeah i i really recommend this figure it looks really great what would be great if they did have a removable helmet maybe bigger weapons like a rocket launcher because after all this is a imperial commando that's what it says on the back but isn't an imperial commando look like a biker scout but um all in all this is really really good and um I'll give this figure a 9.5 out of 10. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this review. Um, so uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. May the force be with you.